Permit me to say this before we begin. For those who lost interest to continue mining Pi Network on their mobile phones, I don't blame you. You need to stop mining. And for those who act and pretend that you are still in the game well, keep it up. I made a video earlier this week speculating on what when the main net will be ready. The main net will take effect soon. This is the time to actually figure out what you are doing with this network. If you are looking at becoming a millionaire with Pi on the long term or short, you need to watch this video to hear what the community and the PyCore team have been saying. What I'm about to show you in this video has nothing to do with promises or procrastination, but it has everything to do with being in the front line when the Pi network is set. You really don't need to be an expert or a trading expert to get ready for the Pi main net. All you need to be is one. A pioneer. Just keep clicking, and if you are, then stick around. I have listened to a lot of people talk about how they missed the opportunity with Bitcoin in the early days. Yet they find it difficult to simply click on the mining button on the Pi app. How else do you identify an opportunity? If you know a better way, feel free to drop a comment in the comments section and educate us. Some people will ignore the opportunity, even if it stares at them like the sun in midday, casting a shadow and following them around. Opportunities must be recognized. It doesn't walk around with a sign you must be the one to recognize it and seize it. I'm pretty sure you heard about the gentleman who bought pizza with 100 Bitcoin in the early days. Back then, his Bitcoins were worth only $40. But since the cryptocurrency wasn't yet a thing in the commercial world, Hank reached out to the Bitcoin Talk community and openly traded his Bitcoins to anyone who would buy him these pizzas. Considering Bitcoin's value today, you would agree with me that these two pizzas can be regarded as the costliest pizzas of all time. My point is this as of 2010 when the value of Bitcoin was $40, he had 100 Bitcoin to spend. That means there are other people who had more Bitcoin than he did. So why raise dust when you see or hear that someone in the Pi network has more than 500 Pis? To buttress my point further, have you not noticed that the mining rate is reduced drastically? Not really because the mining was halved, but because apart from that, an additional digit was added after the decimal point, making it more difficult to mine a single Pi coin. This trend will continue every month going forward. This means it will become increasingly difficult to mine Pi as we progress. And this will be sooner than later. The moral of the story, mine while you can for those of you who think this phrase was a trending quote from the PyCore team, I have news for you. It was a warning to earn and gain what you can before the more serious mining business begins. Because of you, they have changed it to this mine before the next drop. The real question you should be asking is when is the best time to trade my coins and should I trade some or all of them? The mined Pi lockup function was created to add more value to the Pi network and to help strengthen the coin in the network and also reward you for doing that. To buttress my point, let's listen to what the Pi community had to say about why we need to stop mining Pi network. Dear Project Party Hello I am from China. My nickname is Sunjay1. I am a Pi senior old miner. We are very proud of Pi's current results. The white flavor also mentioned that everyone is equal, which is unique to the faction. It should be no problem for Pi members to reach 10 million in two months. What is worrying is that the loss of all the members is very serious. If the pie more butter cannot be carried out in a short time, pie will lose its appeal. You guys, I believe mining should stop after 100 million or 1 billion. There's an issue of deflation and hyperinflation and everything. However, if you caught the production of pie too early at 10 million, I believe that there won't be as much interest from outsiders joining the network. Because right now the whole purpose of the app is to acquire pie coins. So if people can get paid, why would they even download the app? So I think that's an important aspect. And secondly, if you have a currency that cannot be earned only maybe via nodes, which will be minimal, I guess then it would make the coin rather deflationary and we would encourage polling rather than spending. So if we have that, then people would rather hold that currency instead of using dApps and exchanging it for products and services. I feel that the court should explore the idea of universal basic income. I don't know if it would work or not. I don't have too much experience with this. I just think that if everybody in this huge mobile mining ecosystem has a place and it's mining, 
then that's the way to get the application to the most people. Because they have full access to the full functionality of the blockchain. Meaning they can mine, they can send and can receive coins, and can participate in the news. So I think if everybody gets this opportunity, then if everybody could get this opportunity, then that would mean that we could reach out to more and more people instead of just buying a coin. Because now you can't get any more and there's like 10 million of us because, yes, there's a great incentive of building that and using our platform. However, I feel the community enjoys the mining process and it gives them something to look forward to each day. And I feel that with decentralization and the whole branching out of the cryptocurrency scene in general, I think it should give an income source from using mobile to just having the Pi Miner on, rather than just you have to trade products and services. Obviously, I don't know the exact numbers of the coins, but I would encourage Pi Coding to explore this. Hi guys. Whether to stop the mining at 10 or 100 million would be something to discuss. To me, mobile mining should definitely stop. As it is stated in the white paper, in order to have a max supply, you need to stop mobile mining. As you have heard from the community, if you offload all your Pi coins in the nearest future, the coin gains value stronger than expected. Do you think you can get back in? I doubt it. If this massive sell-off happens, how then will we be able to achieve the $314 mark in a short period? So in my next video or videos to come, I will break it down in a way that we can all understand what the Pi lockup is and the opportunity it might bring for us pioneers. Pi Network is for ordinary people that have been given the chance to compete on a level playing field in the world of cryptocurrency. If you are not that person, then please take my advice. After all, my advice is free. Stop mining. As a matter of fact, delete your account. I appreciate your attention. I sincerely hope that the information I've given to you all will be useful. If you have any questions or concerns, please post them in the comments area for more educational content. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you next.